All right, hello YouTube family. Um, I feel like I had to make this video because of a lot of things that's going on. Um, this is about the Lesko scam. Uh, now I've seen comments in which people said that Lesko actually genuinely helped them, and I do like those comments. Uh, I like to hear from both sides. Like I said, only reason why I posted that video is because I was telling about my own personal experience using the program. Um, but then I see comments about people who don't have a real rebuttal, like the other commenters do. Like if somebody don't dis, you know, somebody disagrees with me. They will tell me their story, and you know, even though we can disagree, we can agree to disagree with each other. But there's other people who keep putting on you're hating, you're hating because he has money. First of all, I'm too highly intelligent just to hate for somebody to have money. Okay. Only weak people hate for another person to have money. I have money, okay? I don't have millions of dollars, but I have money. And I don't hate on other people for having money. I don't mind other people having money. But my thing is, the reason why I chose to go through the experience because I heard a lot of people make complaints about um, not getting any help. So I decided to use the program myself. And I gave my own personal experience. Now, before I continue in the video with receipts, um, also as well because I'm not the only one who actually thinks it's a scam there are a lot of people which I'm not going to put other people's comments up there without their permission um, so if you want to see their comments just go to that video and look at their comments and read those comments but there are also different news outlets different websites and different stations that also say that it's a scam as well and I like I said I will put that information up on there do some more research yourself just don't believe exactly what I say do some research yourself. Go to these websites. Read these full articles. Uh, I'm going to put a copy of these uh, websites, URLs, in the description below so you can go to web and read the whole entire thing. I've only picked out certain ones and certain clips and stuff like that. Because you know how people say an article, they try to feed you into it and say, oh, it's a scam. And then later on, they'll be like, well, it's not really a scam. And it's like, okay, which one is it? So I did pick a few of the articles that I went and reviewed through. I didn't see them do that. I kind of chose some comments out of there um, for them to actually say that they think this is a scam and examples of how they think that's the the let's go thing is a scam and also another comment that got held for review which I thought was kind of weird I'll show you that too as well because that kind of threw me off the most okay so without further ado this is what I'm gonna do okay so let's start by saying that my experience with Let's Go is that um, I will say that a lot of the emails I got once I joined the group was basically telling me to do my own work anyways. Um, I got a lot of emails that said, go to this website, go to this website, go to this link, go to this link. I can do that myself for free. I literally have emails, which I actually showed on that last video of it basically just looping around and just telling me to go to different websites, which I, that's the reason why I don't think some people watch the video. Now, there are some people who said that they did actually genuinely find programs that did help them, but overall, you're charging people for a service that you claim will help them find things that they normally would not have access to. That is the main claim of it, okay? That is the reason why I got on reviewing that. Okay, because a lot of people are like, oh, you're just hating on him and this and that. I'm not hating on the man. I'm telling you my experience. And if I feel like it's a scam, I'm going to say it's a scam. Okay, so let's look at the definition of what scam is. Now, for this right here, we're going to use the Wikipedia uh, page link on because I went and looked up scam and it basically said redirected from scam. Okay, called a confidence trick, according to Wikipedia. Okay, now. So a confidence trick is a confidence trick is an attempt to defraud a person or group after first gaining their trust. Confident tricks exploit victims using their uh, credulity, a person's willingness or ability to believe that a statement is true, naivety, uh, a statement of being naive, their compassion, which we know what compassion is, okay. The vanity, which is the excess belief in one's own ability or attractiveness to others. Their confidence, which is a state of being clear-headed, either that a hypothesis or prediction is correct or that a chosen person action is best for most effective, best or most effective. Irresponsibility, 
which is the status of moral deserving praise, blame, reward, or punishment for an action or omission in accordance to one's obligation and greed, which is the uncontrolled longing for increased in acquisition or use in material gain or social value such as status or power. Now, we can't say that y'all being used because of greed because a lot of y'all who look for these grants actually need this money. So we can't sit up there and say it's out of greed. But it is out of uh, nativity. Um, and a lot of other people do stuff for compassion. Like when we talk about the confidence drink trick being used for compassion, we're talking about if they're um, like ask for donations to go to this or to do this. Like established titles which I already knew was a scam from the very beginning but there's a fellow youtuber I gotta get his name who actually exposed established titles and there are people who are still defending this that's the reason why I find some of these comments funny is that even if somebody is exposed you're still defending them because oh they're nice okay nobody ever said the guy wasn't nice okay I literally said that's the reason why it's easy for people to get scammed is because a person is nice it's the same as a relationship you got a guy or a girl who sits up there, they put forth this image just to be able to get what they want from you. And when they got what they want from you, then they show them true scams. They basically scammed you into being in a relationship or giving up something that you hold precious, right? By planning, uh, uh, by planning you being naive. And then they basically just went on ahead and just bam, got what they got and catch on our business. Would you suggest that person go and date other people? So... We're looking at it in the same introspect, okay? Now, he, here's the thing. Now, there is a, uh, one of these papers that says that Let's Go had 90 complaints from the Better Business Bureau. I went to the Better Business Bureau website, as you can see here. It shows 23 results for Let's Go. Um, none of them have anything to do with Let's Go himself. None of them. Like, Let's Go Services LLC. But that's real estate. Um, yeah. So whoever put that on there is not really listed on there. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and read some of these remarks. And then you see what I'm talking about. So the first remark is basically saying that, uh, and you can pause these to read them completely through. Um, first headline shows the government through the New York Consumer Regulatory Board says the guy with the question mark suit is a fraud. Now, this is from Federal Financial Relief. November 30th article that they put on their website. Like I said, I'll go ahead and link that in the description. And basically, it's saying that uh, basically the New York uh, Consumer Regulatory Board has come out publicly and declared that the author, uh, Let's Go, uh, Free Money, has told them that there is no such thing as free money from the government for private citizens to pay their own bills. This is absolutely true. This is something that he was actually doing and actually promoting at the time before he got called out on it. So to sit up there and say, oh, I'm hating on him because he got. Really? This is something he was actually saying. Free money and doing this. I remember the commercials. I've seen the commercials. He basically was making it seem like as if, though, that, oh, you can get this free money to pay all your bills, have all your bills paid. Uh, first off, in most states, I don't know about all of them. I traveled a lot, so in most states, and I also went to other websites too, personally in these other states to try to apply for these things. Um, not apply as to get, but apply as to see what their process is. I stopped at a certain point. But most of these states, even when reading the description, says that you have to have an eviction notice or a shutoff notice for you even apply for this stuff to even happen to you. That means you have to go months without paying uh your rent or to paying these bills before you even qualify for these and even then you're not 100% qualified for it due to the fact that you have to meet other uh, statues and stuff like that in order for you to even apply and get these programs so again like I said um, I'm not hating on the guy I'm just telling you my experience and I'm telling you what actually happened matter of fact here we go again. Let's keep on reading. It said this statement was issued after Lesko made a preposterous and unfound claim that the government was hiding over 350 billion in offshore accounts that could be better used in helping people pay off their debts. Is the government hiding money? Fuck yeah. We know the government's hiding money. Let's just yeah. 
Um, but for him to have that specific amount, three hundred fifty billion, and he even says so himself, even in live videos, that he has connections on the inside who has access to this information, which is the reason why he was able to say that specific number. Okay, so we're gonna go down to the uh, second one right here, the second paragraph that's right here. It says, as expected, um, coming from someone uh, of the reputation. Uh, reach out to the clout of Matt Lesko. The New York State has come out uh, swiftly and rubbish these claims before they gained any hold in a general population. Okay? So, it seems like the state of New York was actually really against this guy. I don't know if it's because they're trying to hide secrets and he really is exposing secrets. But for the New York State to sit up there and tell you, like, hey, this dude is giving unsubstantiated claims and remarks and he's he's really not telling you the truth okay for for you know your state to come after you like that's something now this next headline take it with a grain of salt because like i said i just showed you the better bitter business bureau website and this is all from the same federal financial relief website it says here that the better business bureau for the washington greater area recently awarded matthew lesko firm a low unsatisfactory rating okay now this was a couple of years ago back in 2020 when it said they they gave him this rating but when you go on there and look up Lesko, his information doesn't come up. I ain't put in his whole name. It doesn't come up. So I don't know where they're getting this from, but I will read this part. It says, one of the most surprising things that most people don't know about Lesko.com is that the Better Business Bureau received over 90 formal complaints about him between 2014 and 2019. Uh, it says, it, this ranges from anything from between reports of misleading advertisement to a barrage of their would-be clientele's email with a gazillion of spam emails which i will contest to that you do get some spam emails following the numerous complaints the better business bureau went on ahead and issued a stern warning to all prospective customers over sales pitches posted on lesco.com like i said i went on better business bureau website i didn't see it on there i might be missing something but this is what this uh uh person is saying also as well let's go down further because i don't think you can see it unless i move my screen really unless I move my screen in a certain way there we go also as well it says here the question mark money guy has a reputation of selling his subscribers email addresses and personal information how you think he makes the millions if you're selling a program that's only 20 bucks a month and you you have to have at least like let's do the math because I don't feel like doing it in my head right now so let's go to calculator Okay, let's put the calculator on the screen. Okay. Let's let's go let's put in one million. So we got just just to become a millionaire, one million. If we divide that by twenty dollars per person, that means fifty thousand people would have to get this program and be on this program for a month for him to make over a million dollars. Which is basically possible. So why would you even need to sell anybody's email? Because that's more money. That's why he's able to do some of these grant giveaways that's so much high price. It's the reason why, if you noticed over the years, how he got a cleaner, better house and his, his suits and uniforms got much and much cleaner. If you're really doing these for the people... Now, remember, he also have staff, he says, that works for him. So he has to pay that staff as well. But if you are, if you already can get 50,000 people paying $20 a month each... And you're sitting up there hitting one million dollar marks. Why would you need to sell people's email addresses? I don't get that. But a lot of companies do that stuff. They sell people's email. Okay. Now let's go here. And this is the website I was talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the website. Here it says Financial, Federal Financial. Okay. Fat check Matthew Lesko scammer or savior. Okay. So if you go to the let's put the website link here. So let's let's see here. So that's the website link. You can see that at the top, okay? Bam. Website link. Federalfinancialrelief.com and it's slash Matthew, Matthew Lesko. It was doing a, uh, I guess, expose. And by Adrian Adams right here, okay? So, like I said, go and check it out yourself. Read through it yourself if you agree with it. If you believe it's true, if you believe it's the real thing, I feel you on that. If you don't agree with it or believe it's the real thing, I feel you on that too as well. 
okay so that's where I got this stuff from as you can see there's the headline right there I just put it up there to make it easier but I think it's easy to show the website now here's another website um, Align Grant Writers Allied Grant Writers sorry about that um, and it says here government grants the truth behind Matthew Lesko lies why are they saying these are lies like if he's really telling the truth if the question mark guys really telling the truth why is there so many websites out there and these are just the five websites that I looked at are sitting up here saying that this dude is lying like what in the world I literally just put in his name and you Google Matthew let's go and it came up with these websites I'm looking at was the top five websites that came up in the search engine on my computer now remember because of the way Google is structured you will get different search results even if you put in the same thing depending on your location and IP address so remember that uh, it says there are no government grants offered to persons who want to start or expand their business the US is clear with this issue but many grant seekers continue to ask a, a way about how some people were able to receive funding from the state here's the thing when you receive funding now most of what I've heard is the grant money you get is not to start the business but the grant money you get is to help the business you already started that means if you already have an LLC or some type of business or something like that and it seems to be going in trouble waters if you can prove that you started and owned this business had it for a certain amount of time have a certain amount of employees because you do have to have a certain amount of employees in order to qualify yeah I know um, then you can actually apply to get grant help but as far as them giving you grants to help start your own business no you don't get grants to start your own business you get loans you can get business loans loans to start your own business which you have to pay back once your business reaches a certain level but rarely and I have not heard of this at all do they give you grants to start a business now if you can find it out there go ahead and put in a link in the comments below go ahead and put a, a screenshot of it uh, I'm not talking about no going paint.net or going uh, uh, what's that Apple program called you know uh, you know going Adobe and try to create something that don't looks like what it is no this is the real website by the way so I ain't use Adobe uh, for this at all I didn't Photoshop it at all I like grantwriters.com slash grant Matthew Lesko's and it says lies okay that's very specific okay so like I said now here we go it says self-proclaimed grant expert Matthew Lesko and a few more fake websites stir what's supposed to be the myth among the grant making society he's a famous infomercial figure believed to have researched thousands of free money ready to be given away says he owns a number of websites that serve as mosaics of his books about free money he continues to concoct fairy tales on how the likes of billionaire Steve Jobs and Donald Trump begged money from the uh, state first of all literally billionaires begging money from the state you have billions of dollars so what are you begging for um, said aside from that he saw comment that captured the attention of New York Times for making grant legend after legend so now we get into the part where it says here the truth of Lesko's lies let's see the truth behind Matthew Lesko's lies says here Matthew Lesko claims that the US plans to invest a stunning 3.22 million that's really not stunning that's that's chump change to some people dollars in support of people looking for grant ranging from nonprofit to profit funding and then it says here is he a valid source for grants Matthew Lesko is a heinous person preying on the minds of naive grant seekers the info polls all over his websites are false and add on the already crowded space occupied by thousands of grant scammers there's a lot of scammers out there here's the thing if you can do something for free and somebody charge you money for it don't do it just stop being lazy and just do it most people claim they don't have enough time in their day but yet they can be at the bar getting drunk but you ain't got enough time in the day to do something grow up okay now I used to be on this too I used to be a procrastinator let's not talk I used to be on you know fucking video games all day um, I worked 
like over two thirds of my life. And for the last year, when I got laid off my job, I decided to be lazy and then try to look for grant help. That's the reason why I got on there and then find out, hey, uh, yeah, I need to just get back and get a job and start working again to pay my bills. Because the simple fact is, even though I didn't have any type of uh, uh, eviction notice, I couldn't get help with it. And even then, if I'm single in some states, I was not going to get any grant help, even with an eviction notice. Yeah, let that boggle your mind. So it says, despite how well, very well informed Lesko is, he is not a credible source of info grant making. It says, some trusted sources are grants.gov, which I personally went to that website, found my state, and found out that some of the grants that he claims that I qualify for or that I can get, I don't even qualify for. The Foundation Center and SBA said it's for business owners looking to start or expand their shop. Um, so that, that's another way. And here we go. Here's another website. This is in NBC news for those out there who love NBC news. I don't, but for those who love NBC news, there's a website right there. WNBC news ID. You can pause it. So you can copy that website, go there for yourself. Like I said, I am not Photoshopping any of these. These are, these are real websites. It says agency calls TV money, man claims deceptive. What agency? What agency? Now, for those of you who says I'm hating, for those of you who says I'm just making up claims, not only do you see this man lying on the cot, but what does this message say right here at the top? Like I said, I brought receipts. Free money to quit your job. There is no such thing as free money to quit your job. You really think in a capitalist society that somebody will pay you money to quit your job as if millionaires and billionaires want to sit up there and just pay out their money for you not to work. They would rather pay you money or spend money for you not to start your own business than for you to actually start your own business. Then for you to actually quit your job. Like, come on. Says 15,000 government grant programs worth $350 billion for you to increase your income. False. The only way to increase your income is to work more hours. Besides that, if you cannot work more hours, there are programs for those who are disabled in order to get extra money, help pay bills. Or if you're on unemployment and you're working part time and you can't get more hours, the unemployment program in your state, depending on which state you is in, will actually pay the difference to equal the 40 hours a week that you will be getting paid. Like I said, personal experience. I'm not just talking about, but I'm not just sitting up here hating on this man. I'm bringing you this information right here. It says, do what you always dreamed of and live a happy life. There is no way grants will literally give you money to live a happy life. If grants were so popular, why is it that all the people who had to get student loans didn't just go and get grants? Do you imagine if everybody who went to college went and got grants to help pay for school? No. That's the reason why a majority of people in this nation are in debt because one, they probably weren't told about the grants, which I find impossible because when I went to college and, and told them, I was like, hey, you know, I don't want to pay out of pocket for this because I got to work in this. Oh, we got grants. Boom. Pell Grant. I applied for the Pell Grant. Got it. It paid the majority of my semesters while I was at college and I had a little bit left over to get myself a computer, which was my first computer ever. It was a gateway computer and it was complete garbage neither here nor there i digress but you can still be able to tell that you can't get grant money to just be happy and live a good life no that's not how it works if that fire your boss first of all why would you when people say that fire your boss crap that's dumb your boss hired you how would you fire somebody that hired you okay so it says here find out how you can get government grant money and loan money See how he threw the loan in there? I just got through talking about that. If it was easy to get grant money to go to school, wouldn't you think there would be less people on student loans debts if it really worked like this to make your life happy? And, and see, here it is. We all know this. This article is by Bob Sullivan. Free money to pay your bills. Right? Oh, I won't let me put in a different color. 
um, plastered all over late night TVs, radio stations, and internet. Don't believe it. The New York State Consumer Protection Board warned consumers on Wednesday. This is back in 2004. He's still doing some of this stuff to this day. When you look at some of his live stream, when you look at some of his messaging, and, and literally his like, oh, you can ask other people to help. I did not pay for other people to help me. I paid for you and your company to help me. That's what I paid for. So even though this is the old article, other them other articles, which is as recent as 2020, are still talking about this stuff to this day. Let me see here. It says he offers the chance. I'm right here. He's offers a chance at 350 billion worth of giveaways that could answer the prayers of those who are down on their luck, all in exchange for buying his most recent $37.95 book. Which, by the way, the book's not that much anymore. That's back then. Um, let's see here. So this this goes far back. So basically, here he goes. And this is the message I got, too. And I'll show you that message that I'm talking about. It says, this has been our policy for over 25 years. We don't want anyone unhappy with our product, he says. Now, that's true. You can get your money back. But at that point... If he's so willing to give you your money back, doesn't that mean he's got to do something to make the money? If he's willing to hurry up and get, hey, you're not happy, I'll give you all these hundreds of dollars that you paid to me right back to you. But how is he making money? So maybe it is true that he's selling people's information, that he's selling people's email addresses and stuff like that. Um, cause I know, and I will answer one of the questions uh, a lady asked about how did I get my refund. Um, I'll put it to you like this. When I tried to get my refund the first time, I couldn't get it. They said I had to be part of the group. I said that doesn't make any sense because in order for me to pay, I'm already part of the group. Guess what? I got kicked out the group. How to, Don't know how I got kicked out the group. So I had to reapply for the group. And then I still couldn't get in the group. So I had to get hold of the Let's Go Help, uh, uh, you know, message them uh, with my email. Finally got a hold of somebody. Uh, they let me know how to get back in the group. And then I said I wanted to request a refund, which I did get my refund pretty promptly after that uh, through the Let's Go Help email. But at first, I couldn't even get that because they kept saying that I wasn't even in the group anymore, which didn't make any sense because this was two months after I joined the group. Now, he does say on his Facebook page that if you don't contribute, uh, that you have to contribute. I will say that. Now, here's the thing. It says, his book isn't the scam. It's the wild accusations that makes it a scam. Okay? So, basically, what his book does is it has links and other things that you can use in order to find out the different grants that's going on in your state. But they all lead back to the main website for grants to begin with in the first place. That's like saying that you can go to this uh, China website in order to order Walmart products instead of just going to Walmart and ordering the product from there. Or better yet, just walking in the store. It's probably right down the street from you because there's like a billion Walmarts in the U.S. Knock out the middleman. You know what I'm saying? But you're paying for convenience. So I will say that, though. His service is for the convenience of it. Advertise that. Just say that. Just say it's for the convenience. That's all you have to do. Now, here he says, says, example of Let's Go Tall Tales. Like I said, just go review the website. He said, the agency says, include one story of a researcher who was given half a million dollars to travel the world, suggest that others can apply for similar offers. In reality, the researcher is a quantum physics and a professor at Georgetown University who won a grant from the National Science Foundation. Free car repairs mentioned in the book actually involve automobile recalls, the agency says. Now remember, he made all these claims. So for the people out there saying, I'm hating on him, I brought receipts. Bring your own. Because here, this is not just me that's thinking that. Matter of fact, let's do a live search. Let's do, let's do a live search. This is what we're going to do. Let's do a live search. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's do a live search. Okay. 
I had to cut that out because it showed my damn history, which I don't know why I did that. Okay, so this is live search that I'm doing. I put in Matthew Lesko in my search bar, right? He's right there. Okay. There's the guy right there. All right. Free money. How to get government grants for the whole family. Like I said, I am I don't hate this guy. I just don't like his delivery. That's what makes it the scam. It's like don't tell me something that's not absolutely unequivocally true. If I was to go ahead and promote this, I would say, hey, for $19.95 for, per month, you can get this book in which me and my people consolidated the uh, grants that are available to you so you won't have to go doing the guesswork of looking for this stuff. He didn't start saying this until after he got exposed for saying free money, you can get this, you can get that. No, say it's for we consolidated the information down for you to get grants and you may not be able to apply for all of them. You may not be able to qualify for all of them, but we took the guesswork out of you searching for it yourself. Um, so, so like something like that, but to sit up there, look, you got criticism right here. We're going to go on that in a second. But you notice like the first thing is the Wikipedia's page. And it said the first thing, life, career, criticism, popular culture, books. Uh, let's see here. The truth behind Matthew Lesko's lies. Um, we got some good pages right there about him. Let's go uh, free. Let's go help the government grants website. So you got helping everyday people secure government grants and help build businesses. Here's the thing. You're not helping people secure government grants, especially if they have to go do the stuff they sell. If you was helping to secure government grants, what you do is take their information, apply for the, fill out the form for them, apply for the grant for them, let them know that they qualify for the grant, or if they need any more information, do that. That's how you secure grants for them. Not just write down where to go get the grant at. I can do that my damn self. I can go to the website. Matter of fact, we're going to do a live search on that too. Uh... Wiki Wan. So let's go here. Let's talk about criticism. Let's go here real quick. Critics claim that Lesko is misleading in his advertisements in a 2004 report by the uh, by the New York State, I almost say United States, Consumer Protection Board, claimed that most of the grants mentioned in Lesko book were actually public assistance programs that many people were not eligible for. And this comes from the New York State Consumer Protection Agency, which we know right here, responsible for protecting, educating, and representing consumers. Receipts. Um, and misrepresenting people said uh, programs that were not eligible for, and that Lesco misrepresented examples of people who had taken advantage of government programs. And I showed you back then where he claimed that this dude got half a million dollars to travel the world when really he just qualified for a grant because he was a quantum physics from Georgetown University. Let's see what else. In an interview, this is July 2007, Lesko admitted to having assembled his books from government guides to grants and loans, quoting Lesko as saying of his first book, I plagiarized the whole thing and I didn't write a lick. Lesko later added, I get stuff for free and I sell it for as much as I can get. Now, do research to see if that statement is real. I know this is Wikipedia, but do research to see if that statement is real. Okay? Now, they said this is an interview. Matter of fact, let's go to YouTube. Let's bring up YouTube. We're going we're gonna to do this stuff live. Okay? What is that? Oh, that's some stupid stuff. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring this up live, okay? So, yeah, I have OnlyFans. Not ashamed of it. And you see the rest of my stuff. I got the Oculus on there. That Resident Evil Seven. Y'all ain't ready for that Resident Evil Seven. Y'all ain't ready for that. You got Tubi. Go ahead, check out Tubi. Go ahead and check that out. Let's see here. Mm. That they they really just gonna have old girl just. Wow, just okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta be on track. We gotta be on track. Sorry about that. I got this, and they got her down here too. Okay, um, 
let's look at the I spelled that man's name wrong sorry about that Matt let's go Washington Post 2007 not Washington Post commercial looking at 2017 no 2007 interview let's see if they have that on YouTube that's the profile by the way go ahead and take a look at that let's see here they're not having that wow they got me on the list they really got your boy on that list You mean to tell me this dude has this interview hidden? Or does this interview even really exist? Let's do this. Let's not even go through YouTube. Let's see if that interview really exists. I'm not saying that, oh, YouTube never, uh, I mean, Wikipedia never lies. No, we want to make sure, like I said, if I'm going to bring receipts, we need to check all the receipts. What's this about? This is back in July. I wonder how much they charge to go into the archives. Okay. No, nah, I don't I don't pay attention to anything that got comments closed. I don't I don't pay attention to that. Even if it's true, I don't pay attention. This looks like it's regurgitated. Yeah, so first of all they spelled May wrong, but that looked like it's just regurgitated from the original website. So we're not gonna use that. Yeah, this is just a regurgitation of information that I already found back on the website. That's from 2004. So we're, we're not going to. Yeah, we're definitely not going to use that. No, we're not going to use that. No, it looks like they just basically copied it from Wikipedia or something like that. Now, who's the scammer? Y'all just copying stuff from Wikipedia, man. Get out of here with that. Because for him to admit that he plagiarized it, I find that very hard to believe. For him to just openly admit that and people are still giving him money. Let's go visit the White House as a guest of his son, a White House staffer. Well, there you go. That's that's a connection right there. Connection to the government. And then they got all these books right here where they can get quit begging for money. Free money to quit your job. False. Free money for entrepreneurs. False. Free money to get a better home. Um, false. You can get money to improve your home. Free money to pay your bills. False. Only if there's an eviction notice or shutoff notice in most states where they give you money. Uh, money to change your life. False. Uh, free stuff for women's health, fitness, and nutrition. It really depends on if you're basically getting some type of health care program or a contract that you're being put on that allows you to either give away free stuff to women or to allow you to get those stuff if you have certain health conditions. Free college money and training money for women. Um, you can get college money for anybody, not just women. They're called grants, uh, literally. Pell grants at that you can get. I know because I used to use Pell grants. Gobs and gobs of free stuff. Like what free stuff? Um, free health care, free medical information, free prescription drugs. 
bro, you're 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 literally describing a program that people already use to get these. Okay, we gotta look at the year when the book was wrote. We got we gotta look at the year. Okay, we gotta look at the year because these are the years it seemed like where he was really going on in. That that seemed like when he was going all in, but like I said, like these are people who are sitting up here. Matter, matter of fact, let's, we got to put Matthew on there because otherwise it's gonna bring up Leslie or Debbie. Says uh, to the lines. We already brought that up. Consumer fraud reporting. Did we open that website yet? Some of this stuff is regurgitated information, but consumerfraudreporting.org. And that's literally what I just got through saying, these two sentences right here. Let's go make it sound as though it's easy to obtain grants and money from government. And he fails to mention the downside, such as probably not be eligible for the vast majority of the programs. That's all you have to do. That's all you literally have to do. Now, like I said, it says according to the Washington City paper. Let's go, um, appears to admit to this. According to the Washington City paper, let's go acknowledges that his shtick obscures the enormous difficulties in securing government grants but he sees no need to apologize for it a degree of lying you know white lies seem to be the inherent in all languages and all forms of communication he wrote in the introduction of his book free money to pay your bills it's really not lying it's more a matter of not presenting the downsides of a situation like i said whoever has that book check and see if that statement is actually in that book because it is that's jacked up that's really jacked up. That's ooh, that's that's really jacked up. Okay, we got rip off report here. Let's bring up rip off report. Oh, everybody know about Miss Cleo. Matthew Lesko. So we're on the site rip off report. Uh, let's see here. This was done back a few years ago. Category corrupt companies. Some of this stuff has not changed to this day. Some of this stuff hasn't even changed. You can go there and read that yourself. But what I'm saying is, is that based off my own experience, I feel like the thing was a scam to me. I feel like I wasn't, th there wasn't honest with me about what was really going on as far as the scam goes. Like, be honest with me and tell me what's actually going Okay, here we go. I'm in my latest comments, right? Help for review. Are you seeing this? You're, you're watching this as I'm watching it. Tell me why this man is comment is held as potentially inappropriate. How does that make any sense? Says, hi, I'm the real Matthew Lesko. There are people on the internet who say they are me, are scams. I only charge $20 and will refund anything for anyone. We will refund everything if you are not happy. Contact Let's Go Help for a refund. Here's the thing. I'm not talking about other people who are claiming to be you. I am talking about you yourself and your program. I already went through your program. So this this and when I clicked on it, it led me directly to Matthew. So this is actually Matthew who went on ahead and in a and replied. It can, it you can use to get thousand dollars in a free computer. I'm sure if you see that video, he gives you the details on it. What is this to pay for emergencies, living expenses, and your business? They're not just simply grants, people. These are emergency relief funds for some people. You can easily find this. 
Oh yeah, that nine hundred billion dollar COVID stimulus package. I went and tried to apply for that too through his website. Guess what? Didn't even qualify for it. You know why I didn't qualify for it? Because the simple fact is that I actually worked during COVID, and not only that, that I didn't go to the doctors to officially be diagnosed as having COVID. Caught COVID twice, by the way. First time it took almost a week. The second time it's going to eighteen hours. So. You, it's like you're using this to buff up people's. It's like you're you, you you. It's like you're playing on people's downsides. You're doing like the Michelson twins are doing. You're basically taking what people are going through and you're trying to make a quick buck off of it. So, like I said, I brought the receipts. I'm sure people got their own. But like I said, I am not just simply doing this because of me hating it. Let me let me go ahead and. I use it from check. I'm not going to hide from much. You know, let me go ahead and prove it that so other people can see. I don't know why his comment was held at uh, as potentially inappropriate. That's weird to me. That doesn't make any sense. His comment shouldn't be. There was nothing inappropriate in his comment. He's just simply saying he's a real Matthew Lesko. So I, I thought that was kind of weird. But like I said, I, I went ahead and decided to bring receipts. Like I said, you don't have to agree with me. But don't sit up there and say I'm trying to attack this guy because I'm hating him. I'm not attacking him because I'm hating on him. I went through the program myself. So, anyways, if I got to, I'll, I'll, I'm going to also put up some more videos about some other stuff, too, as well. Because um, there's a lot of these YouTube commercials that are just with the robot voice that sounds stupid. <clears throat> Might do a video on that. All right, be safe before I smack you in the face. And I'm out.